he had late in the ball game to secure that victory a couple of nights ago in Utah. He has been the utility specialist who will be coming off of the bench. A lot of guys in this game getting their first career starts. And Butler trying to tap it to himself, but it's Williams. Over to another three. That one is way too strong out of the hands of Conchar. He's a good three-point shooter. Yeah, you won't see that very often. Usman Jang, no spin, and uses physicality in his size. Usman Jang. One thing that they will have to deal with is in a couple of years, which one of the young guys are you going to keep? You're not able to keep all of them, and they're still going to have to, I believe, still find another veteran to go along with SGA, Giddy, and get back. Now I'm six foot four. <laughs> it just wore me down, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, it just wore me down. <laughs> Sometimes you feel it. <laughs> they're really, they are really truly some of the greatest athletes in the world folks. to be able to play an 82 game schedule like this and then on top of the travel I mean it's a, it's a lot to, to take in that you just don't see when you see these guys in his fourth year they got knocked out in the second round last year nice pass underneath and Saar with a nice little slam Jang Step back three with Waters, JRE, Usman Jang, Wiggins, and Trey Mann out of the floor. And Jang, little sidestep, nice move. And you see the skill there, Michael, the footwork, the skill. You've got to give the lead credit in the competition committee for, you know, coming up with the play-in idea because so many teams had stakes left in the game. Stakes left in the game this late in the season. I mean, everybody's playing for something. It seemed like, with the exception of a few teams. It, it has been interesting, partner. It has been. If you're a basketball fan, after March Madness, it just continues. <laughs> and they turn teams over in the month of March. Also, while scoring the basketball at a healthy clip. Oh, the patient play from Jang, and then the cut across the baseline from Saar, who's been living at the rim. Thunder's bench has been solid, too. They have the seventh best scoring bench. 39 a game. I already talked about the 50 points that they had. Hunter took care of business on Thursday night in Salt Lake City against the Utah Jazz on the road. And Roddy looks like Usman Jang might have got a piece of it on the way up. We know he can score the basketball. He's helping the bigs out on the glass. You know, just learning, you know, continue to learn the value. That's going to be an offensive foul. Easy call by the officials. Well, Last chance. I, I, I like what Paris was talking about with the coaching staff about, you know, this is in system basketball. You know, a lot of times it's volleyball. It's very man. Nice, a nice little floater to beat the clock. He's usually a, a three point shooter. As Jang from the outside, no good. Second season in the association, 19. Third year, 24 points. Fourth year, 24.5. And of course, this year, partner. Break down the incremental improvement that he has had every single year. Going back to his rookie year. Want to rep your Thunder every day of the week from jerseys to hats, the official Thunder shop. Visit Paycom Center or shop online at okcthunder.com slash shop. And the two things that really stand out, Michael, to me. So you have to try to prove yourself. <laughs> exactly. You belong. Right. You have to have a launch pad. And I think the Thunder made a great job. Made it really easy for these guys to develop in this. Where's the dunk highlight? Yeah, that, that was, where, where's the, you know, he's one of those guys, man, you know, that he, he's a matchup nightmare because you just don't know how, what he's going to do. I said, man, you're screwing up the scouting report. Thunder continue to turn it over. The Grizzlies here, that's going to be a foul. That's going to be free throws for Jang. And in about two or three years, it'll give it back to you. <laughs> that's <laughs> a really good point. You know, if you stick with it. When did he hit the rookie wall? I, I, that's my, that's my thing, my claim to fame. Every rookie hits the rookie wall. And Trey Mann, an offensive rebound. Kind of will cycle it back out. Nice pass inside. Saw got himself another jam. He's had a handful of those on the night. Trey Mann just got a double-double, looking for another assist. Outside, Usman Jang, that three. And that's amazing in your second season. I mean, that's a score, just like Lindy Waters. You never thought you'd be in that conversation where they're at today, but it, you know, it, it wasn't part of the plan. It was just part of a big development year, and that kind of organically brought them out. 
certainly a playoff environment. They don't consider the play-in game the playoffs. But when it's single elimination for the 9-10 play-in game, it's going to feel like the playoffs. Then spin dishing it out, and the scoop, no. Up ahead, Lofton Jr. Pushed by on both teams. Yeah, you got a lot of guys in this game who spent some time down in the G League. Significant time trying to keep their careers alive, trying to prove themselves in the NBA. There's another dunk for Olivier Saar. Over and over again tonight. Jay, and he will burst right to the rim. Wednesday night. Absolutely, especially when you can rest your players today. That, that, that's how important it is. That's all it is. She's setting those lobs for you. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's Man, I, I couldn't believe. Don't worry, I was there for you. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> then and that's Waters and Wiggins. Both with six points in the afternoon. Six minutes on the afternoon. And a nice take inside from Usman J. Now all of a sudden everything's being called. Gonna get no complaints from me. Yeah. Uh, and, and more free flowing game, the better. Less barriers, the better. I like that. Eric Date, our director, Steve Mellon, our producer, Chris Josephson, who does stats, Al Skin Skinner, who is on the tape. Camera guys, every single night coming to Paycom Center, is on the tape. Camera guys, every single night coming to Paycom Center. Andy Gibson, I know you're over there. Big thumbs up to you. He runs the head camera, Anthony Mount. At FedEx Forum, real tough place to play. Just saw head coach Taylor Jenkins. Last Thursday night, coming in from Salt Lake City, we were an hour late. That's not an hour late, that's on time by Usman Jang, but the flight was an hour late. As this OKC home crowd on its feet, big round of applause to finish out the regular season, game number 82.